stuck. Don't worry, everybody. I'm okay. The billboard broke my fall. What the hell? Hey, could you give me a... Jennifer? This is the dumbest design ever. Jennifer, I need some help. Martin? It is you. Is that a DeLorean? Uh, well, yeah, it's a DeLorean. What else would it be? How the hell did it get into the billboard like that? Uh, never mind that. Just give me a hand, okay? So who are you supposed to be? Luke or Bo? This isn't funny, Jennifer. Oh man, what's the date? What? That's something I should be asking you. You've probably wrecked your head. Just, what's the date, Jennifer? It's the 15th. The year? 1986, duh. Oh man, oh man, this can't be happening. Jennifer, you look so... different. That's the general idea of being a non-conformist. That's not what I meant. What are you getting at? What are you wearing, Jen? You look so... Fed up? Keen eye you got there. I was gonna say punk. A whole world alien to the likes of you, dork. What'd you do to your hair? Helter Skelter. What? It's the same hair dye I always use. What's with the attitude? I'm not having this argument again. You've argued about this before? I'm guessing you won the argument. Never mind, I gotta get out of this car. Good idea. What are you doing down there? Not that you'd ever understand it, but I'm doing my part to support the arts in Hill Valley. Anyway, what's the technical term for attempting to jump your DeLorean through a billboard? Where did you even get a DeLorean? Is it stolen? That's a little complicated. I bet. Can you help me down? Why don't you just jump? I'll break my neck. And? The door's jammed. Can you get it open? I can't reach it. Besides, I'm not climbing under the car. It could come down on my head. You got any rope you can toss me? Uh-uh. All I have is this rusty wrench thing I found in the dirt. A tire iron. I think that'll do. Toss it here. Oh, back off, Martin. This is my witch, it. What do you give me for it? May I please have the tire iron? The tire who? The big metal thing you're holding. Oh, right. As soon as you offer up a decent trade. Oh. Jennifer, please. This is serious. This tire thing really has some value to you, huh? At the moment, yes. Then it better be a pretty good trade. <laughs> All right. Let me think this through. Don't strain your brain, Geekzilla. Irving Kid Tannen. Jennifer! This is all I got. Is there anything in it? Give it here. Ugh. It smells like armpits and booze. Irving Kid Tannen, the gangster? Where the hell did you get this? It's a long story. Can I just have the tire iron now? Heads up! Thanks! Oh, great. Now what? Oops. 
Oh. Well, your dorkness, my debt to society is paid. As for you, good luck with your car. Way to stick it to Big Brother. Just don't expect your sudden cry for attention to change anything between us, dig? Doesn't change what? Look, Jennifer, I think there are some things we need to talk about. Hey, maybe you can give me a lift into town. Oh, sure, Martin. Climb on in. Hey, Jennifer, wait! I told you, we're through, McFly. I'll never dig such a square again. My own girlfriend thinks I'm a square? Jesus, could this get any worse? Whoa, whoa, whoa! I could really use your help right about now. Relax! We've got everything under control. Uh, check, check. Sibilance, sibilance. Oh, ha, ha, hi. Uh, can you buzz me in? Visitors must check in at the North Gate. Oh. North Gate? I'm not walking clear around Hill Valley. There's gotta be another way. Well, at least one of the hover wheels work. Okay, good. This could be useful. Now think, Marty, think. Well, now that it's off the car, it looks like the power cables for the hover system have disconnected. It's dead. May 15th, 1986. Yeah, the, the date's right, but... Well, that's not good. I don't really feel qualified to repair a nuclear reactor. Maybe it's still under warranty. Well, I guess technically it's way under warranty. Twelve volts. Wait, this is the car battery? It must have been installed in 2015 with the Mr. Fusion. Still has plenty of juice. Let's see here. Red to positive, black to negative. Whoa! Oh. Far out. Okay, Doc, let's see what kind of nightmare alternate timeline I've landed in this time. Okay, Marty. Nothing to be afraid of. It's just an alternate hill valley that's turned my girlfriend into a punk rock vandal. That doesn't mean it's full of post-apocalyptic biker gangs run by armies of biff clubs. Just take a deep breath and remember, we gotta find Doc.
It's so, so clean. Good morning, citizen. Good morning to you too, citizen. on here, Doc? Jeez, my Hill Valley never looked this good. Watch where you're going, citizen. Sorry. Mr. Parker. That's Officer Parker to you, Martin. Now what's with the outfit? I, uh... It's Thursday. Yeah? Polo shirt Thursday. You're out of uniform. That's a violation of Civic Ordinance 9 triple And you're not wearing an ID in direct violation of Ordinance WB714. What are you up to, citizen? Polo shirt? Are you on the pot, citizen? Put your arms up. Spread your legs. Hey, wh what are you doing? Quiet. Hold still. Hmm, nothing. What's your deal today, McFly? Uh, can you tell me where I can find Doc, uh, Citizen Brown? Are you sure you're an honor student? Where do you think he is at this time of day? At work? That's right, working at the courthouse. Heavy. Hey, what's with the pat down? What do you think? I'm packing heat? Heat? Contraband? Contraband? You know. Booze, smokes, bubblegum, dogs, circus bubble peanuts. Bubblegum is illegal. Come on, McFly. You're smart enough to know that ignorance of the Civic Ordinance 2XM isn't an excuse. Have you seen Jennifer? What's it to you? I thought she broke up with you. Yeah, well, I need to talk to her about that. Good luck finding her. I usually don't see her unless she's racking up demerits for her art. Since when are you a cop? I thought you were a shoe salesman. Are you on something? I've always been a cop. Just like my pa. Great. I've turned my girlfriend's dad into a cop. Have you seen Jennifer? What's it to you? I thought... Yeah. Good luck. I've got to finish my beat. Are you going to make trouble for me today? No. No what? No, sir. That's right, citizen. In Valley Courthouse, how may I help you, citizen? I need to see Doc, or uh, Citizen Brown. Do you have an appointment? Uh, no, but... Then I'm afraid you'll have to wait your turn. Citizen Brown's a very busy man. That voice sounds familiar. Biff? Doc? I need to talk to you. Biff? Hey, you're you're George and Lorraine's youngest. Martin, right? What? You don't know me? Only by reputation. Brown Cadet of the Month, three months running. Impressive. Are you interested in the Citizen Plus program? Listen, Biff, that car I saw you get out of, was that Doc Brown in there with you? Ha! Ah, Doc! That should be his new nickname! But yeah, that was Citizen Brown. What an inspirational guy. How'd you get FaceTime with him? He seems so busy. You got that right, Martin. 
Citizen Brown's a busy, busy guy, but fortunately, uh, unfortunately, I'm a special case. See, Martin, I used to be a real bad apple. A real butthead. I don't see why that would make you a special case. What can I say, Martin? I was always getting into trouble. Too much trouble, what with the booze, the partying, the women. Even my dogs were a pack of trouble. Pack, get it? Uh, yeah. What does this have to do with Citizen Brown? Well, after getting in so much trouble, the authorities, they took me in to see Citizen Brown and gave me an ultimatum. Citizen Plus or Bust. So, uh, about all the bad things you used to do. Gosh, Martin, I really don't like dredging up the past. But, all right, if it'll help you make a decision about Citizen Plus. You said something about booze? Beer, rum, whiskey, wine coolers, you name it, I drank it. Not only did I drink it, I smuggled it into Hill Valley, too. Chip off the old block, huh? Used to be I'd knock your block off for a comment like that. But yeah, I guess I was following in Pop's crummy footsteps. So there's no booze in Hill Valley? Nope. Sure, someone tries to sneak some in every now and then, but cops like Officer Parker over there always catch them sooner or later. Why'd your dogs get you in trouble? You weren't running dog fights, were you? No, nothing that bad. I just used to have a lot of dogs. What's wrong with that? Nothing, other than them keeping the neighbors up all night, lunging at old people, and eating all the squirrels in the park. In fact, I'm ashamed to say it was my out-of-control dogs that were directly responsible for the banning of dogs throughout Hill Valley. You don't sound very ashamed. Oh, I am. Very, very ashamed. So there's no dogs in Hill Valley anymore? Yep. Citizen Edna says they carry diseases and steal shoes. What kind of trouble did you get into with women? They weren't hookers? No, no, nothing like that. It's just that I wasn't always discreet about my affections. What? Public displays of affection, Martin. You know, necking and such. That's illegal? Oh, yeah. You seriously got in trouble for PDAs? You bet. The Browns always say that behaviors that excite your privates should be kept in private. Or maybe it's just Citizen Edna who says that. Yeah, let's let's change the subject. Thanks. I don't like talking about my old nasty self. Do you think I could get to see Citizen Brown if I did all the bad stuff you used to do? I guess, but why would you want to act like that? What is this Citizen Plus? It's Citizen Brown's new re-education program, and I'm the first of Hill Valley Citizen Plus. Uh, pluses. Plus I? I want to know more about Citizen Plus. And I just can't wait to tell you all about it. Did I mention the swell digital watch you get with the program? You said you get some sort of watch. Oh, it's a real classy deal. Just look at this state-of-the-art ticker. It's got all sorts of special modes programmed in. I still haven't figured out how to set the time, but I'm sure a smart guy like you could do it no problem. So what's the point of Citizen Plus? Well, it may not be as noticeable for an upstanding citizen like yourself, but the hypnotherapy sessions help to tame the urges to break the rules. Whoa, whoa. Hypnotherapy? Well, sure, Martin. Why, it makes obedience automatic. Obedience? This is some kind of brainwashing? That's a good way to think about it. Scrubbing all those nasty thoughts right out of your noggin. It's voluntary, right? Sure, for the pilot program, but eventually it'll be mandatory for everybody. Mandatory? Are you nuts? Nah, I used to be nuts, but now, thanks to the Citizen Plus program, I'm probably the sanest guy in Hill Valley. Okay, let's stop talking about Citizen Plus right now. Okay. Nice clothes. You lose a bed or something? What do you mean? I'm wearing what everyone's wearing. It's Polo Shirt Thursday. You, my friend, are out of uniform. So I've heard. Yeah, well, there's always tomorrow. Hawaiian Shirt Friday! Great. 
So you won't break any rules anymore? Can't! The Citizen Plus treatment makes it physically impossible for me to break rules! How so? Now I get physically ill if I try to break a rule! How's your re-education holding up? Still incapable and uninterested in breaking the rules! Sure you aren't craving a beer? I do kinda miss beer. Uh, on second thought, blah! You used to be a real bruiser. That's all behind me now. So what, you wouldn't even defend yourself? I don't know if I could, actually. Wuss. Oh, you're just aching to find out, though. D don't torment me. I can get used to this. Please, Martin, don't make me angry. All right, Biff. You're off the hook this time. See you later, Biff. Bye, Martin! What's Jen up to now? That junk looks awfully familiar. Fifty years familiar. I don't want to go digging through the trash unless I absolutely have to. Must be where Jen keeps her paints. Locked. Jennifer! Jen! You got a problem? What's the deal, Jennifer? He left me stranded outside the city gates. Yeah, that was pretty rotten, wasn't it? I'm such a horrible role model. Better get away before I corrupt you. Look, I don't know what you got against me in this timeline, uh, lately, but I'm here to make things right. I've missed you, you know? Take a look at me, Martin. Do I look like the kind of girl that would hang around the president of the Junior Brown Brigade? I don't know what the hell you're talking about, but I gotta admit, I kind of like you like this. Oh, uh, Barf? You act like I'm a turn-off, but I don't buy it. We were meant to be together. Look, just because I let you tag along to a couple concerts doesn't mean we're Romeo and Juliet. I mean, sure, you're a little cute, but you're into all this honor student crap. Honor student? And I'm into more interesting things. And guys. Are you going out with someone else? I bet I can make you forget him. Sorry, Martin, but you just don't rate anymore. So do you spend most of your time vandalizing public property? Don't even think about snitching on me, unless you want this spray can up your- No, no, listen, you got me wrong. I'm looking to, uh, break a few rules myself. You? Do you know where I could score some forbidden materials? Do I strike you as somebody who would possess illegal substances? Um, kinda, yeah. And you strike me as somebody who would turn in somebody like me. Next topic. This ban on public displays of affection bites. Hey, you're talking about my most favoritest legal infraction of all. Yeah? Not with you. Ew! This law against public kissing is a load of bull, right? Yeah, this town is full of it. What are you gonna do? Protest. That's what. Let's go stage a public kiss in. Let's not, and say we did. Isn't graffiti a major infraction? You'd think, but after Big Brown had all those buildings coated in that Teflon polymer junk a couple years ago, graffiti's been knocked down to a two-demerit offense. Go fig. What do you know about harboring dangerous animals? So you met my new boyfriend. Oh, lighten up. On second thought, maybe I don't want to know any more about breaking the rules. Wuss. Leech and the whoosh bags. I never heard of them. No, you wouldn't have. They don't play much punk on those smooth jazz stations you listen to. Smooth jazz? I couldn't possibly be that square, even in an alternate timeline. Give me a can of spray paint. I got an urge to paint something. <laughs> 
Happy little trees. Get yourself a watercolor kit. I'm not sharing my wall. So, Jennifer. Uh-huh. What do you think of me? I don't. Seriously, what have you got against me? I'm kind of popular, right? Very popular. Among a certain crowd. What crowd? Dorks. Marty McFly a dork? It's impossible. He can't be a dork. Okay, anyone who talks about himself in the third person is a dork. My mom and dad. What about them? Would you say they're normal? By Hill Valley standards, yeah. In other words, they're warped beyond repair. Sorry to be the one to break it to you. Did you get a load of Biff Tannen back there? He's so... Calm. Yeah, creeps me out. You and me both. If that's what the Citizen Plus program's all about, I'll stay a Citizen Minus. What do you know about the Citizen Plus program? Only what I hear on TV, and the radio, and the newspapers, and the PA systems all over town. They want everybody to enroll, and they say it'll make us all happy and well-adjusted. Which is why I'm gonna stay clear of it. Hill Valley's totally screwed up, but I got a plan to fix everything. You do, huh? I'm gonna go talk to Citizen Brown and get him to make it all better. That sounds like the kind of plan you'd come up with, weirdo. Citizen Brown is a really great guy. You're wasting your breath, Martin. I don't buy into all that happy talk. No, really. This crazy police state wasn't his idea. It'll all get undone once I have a good talk with him. You know, I almost feel sorry for you. It won't be long before I see Citizen Brown. Hey, can I come with you? You want to see Citizen Brown, too? Yeah. Maybe he can give me a heart when he gives you a brain. Couldn't hurt to ask. Your paint's starting to streak. Ah! Look out, son! <laughs> Mom? Mom? Mom! But are you happy? Happiness is overrated, Lorraine. I'm content. Well, I'll think about it. Mom? Hi there, Martin. I saw you as I was driving in. Did you hear me honking? Mom, it can't be you. Martin, are you all right? I'm, I'm, I'm fine. It's just that you're so, so gray. Well, isn't that an uplifting way to greet your mother? Sorry, I just don't... I guess you're right, though. I am going a little gray. No thanks to your father. So, what? Are you out here shopping or something? Oh, shopping? Puff! Who shops anymore? No, it's that time of the month for me again. Uh... For my civic duty. I'll be polishing the statue all day. Oh, right. What's with the golf cart, Mom? Now, Martin, I know you're embarrassed to be driving around in last year's model, but we really can't afford the 86s yet. What about my truck? <laughs> no one owns a truck in Hill Valley. Martin, are you sure you're feeling okay? Yeah, yeah. I just... I must have had a really vivid dream last night. Well, I hope your dream world was more fun than this one. Could you do me a favor? I forgot to give your father my timesheet for last week, and now Mr. Nosy is convinced that I'm hiding something from him. Timesheet? Aren't they annoying? But Citizen Brown always says, a scheduled life is a happy life. Anywho, could you be a dear and drop it off at the house? Here, take the car. Actually, I... I know, uh, I know, dear. Love you, too. I'd give you a kiss, but you know what that gets you. Don't forget to pick me up this evening. Uh, yeah, sure. Well, it's not the truck, but I guess it'll do. I don't know, John. Isn't this illegal? 
What isn't illegal in Hill Valley? What is this that Brown's watching? Don't worry, nobody can see us here. He's a peeping Tom. Ah! Dad, try to warn your old man the next time, okay? Hey, Demerit. Hey, what for? Insufficiently polished shoes. Good day, citizen. Um, I saw Mom downtown. She told me to give this to you. Thanks. Say, uh, what gives around here? Ah, uh, you know, the usual. Keeping tabs on Hill Valley through my trusty bank of monitors. Always on the lookout for some interesting footage. Interesting? What do you mean, interesting? What kind of silly question is that? I've been gathering candid documentary footage for Citizen Brown's promotional videos for over a year now. I know your mother doesn't approve of my work, but... Wait a minute. You say you saw Lorraine? 11 to 12 hair salon, 12 to 12 20 lunch at soup mo counter, cream of asparagus with crackers. What was that? You know your mother's problems. If she slips up again, it could mean demerits for the whole family. There she is, polishing the statue in the park. Just like the schedule dictates. Oh, then everything's fine. Good. Unless... How was she when you spoke to her? Lucid? Sober? Whoa, Dad, what are you telling me? Are you saying Mom's a drunk? Shh, I don't know for sure that your mother has relapsed into her old ways, but she's been acting very odd lately, almost as if she didn't like my constant supervision. Confidentially, I suspect she's got a flask hidden somewhere, probably very near the spot where she's working right now. Do me a favor, son, will you? See if you can worm the truth out of her. She won't confide in me, but she may be less guarded with you. Double rations this week if you help your old man out. What do you say? That's a good boy. Okay, Dad, we need to talk. What were you hiding when I came in just now? Hiding? I don't know what you're talking about, son. Come on, I saw it. It was a videotape, right? Um... I might as well tell you. After all, you'll be 18 soon. Tell me what? Hill Valley under Citizen Brown. It's not quite the contented town you were led to believe it was. You're kidding. This isn't a criticism of the great man himself, of course, or his sainted wife, Edna. No one's worked harder than they to apply the most advanced social planning techniques to our municipality. But... What? Confidentially, not everybody appreciates it. A great many citizens, perhaps even the majority, actively resent the Brown administration. They don't say so publicly, of course. But in private? Well, just listen. I tell you, Bert, this regime is a joke. They're all laughing at us over in Fairfax. A toast to Citizen Brown. May his beloved courthouse be struck by lightning. Shh, Agnes, you're awful. Are you coming to the town square, Lester? Citizen Brown's about to give another speech. Citizen Brown can kiss my hairy... Well, you get the idea. It sounds like people can't stand what the Browns have done to Hill Valley. Not everyone. Only... Around 50%, maybe 60. Does Citizen Brown know? He should. Whenever I send copies of my raw footage to the public relations department over at the courthouse, I get a memo telling me how much Citizen Brown thanks me for my service. But how could he see those videos and not do anything about it? Maybe you should take your tapes directly to Brown. Oh, I don't know about that. I mean, sure, he might appreciate my bringing these problems to his attention and reward me for my public service, but then again, they say it's never wise to be the bearer of bad news. Why don't you give me those videotapes? I'll take them to Citizen Brown. Thanks for offering, son, but I don't want to get you involved. Citizen Brown won't like what he sees on them, and I wouldn't want you to get the brunt of his displeasure, not to mention the displeasure of all the folks on the tapes. Once they find out I recorded them... No, I'm not letting these tapes out of my sight. It's too dangerous. It's about Mom. How'd she get to be such a mess? This isn't how she is in my... in my perfect world. You're right. It's a real puzzle. Because, of course, we both know Hill Valley is a perfect world. But for some peculiar reason, the harder I try to get her to conform to the rules, the more she slips up. She's thinking about signing up for the Citizen Plus program. Is she now? You're not going to let her go through with it, are you? Well, from what I hear, it's a fairly drastic procedure which completely reshapes the subject's personality. On the other hand, if Citizen Brown recommends it, it's got to be a good thing. 
Don't you think Mom would be a little more relaxed if you gave her just a little bit of space? Now, there's a fine suggestion. What would Hill Valley be like if people gave each other space? Why, we'd all be tempted to follow our own impulses, and there's no telling where that might lead. Hmm. Something on your mind? It's about me. I'm all ears. Well, uh, from certain things I've heard, I get the idea that people in this town regard Marty McFly as a... As a what? A nerd. They said that? In so many words. Just because a boy studies hard and gets straight A's and respects the rules and doesn't party or drink or stay out late and is perhaps a bit socially inept and obsessed with personal hygiene and prefers his rubber band collection Stop. to... Stop! I really don't want to hear anymore. I'm proud of you, son. I'm trying to understand why Jennifer broke up with me in this time. Uh, you recent past. Are you still mooning over that girl? Forget her! She's bad news! Why, my surveillance cameras have caught her doing things that, that are completely against the Hill Valley Code. I don't want to know. Kissing boys. Sitting with boys in cars. I've kept quiet about it for her father's sake, but believe me, you're well rid of her. You, uh, is there anywhere you expect me to be, like, right now? Well, I did expect you to be up at the lake until tomorrow with that Mathemagic competition, so I guess your time is pretty much your own right now. Okay, different subject. Yeah? How exactly does this setup work? I'm glad to see you taking an interest. Each of these monitors is connected to multiple cameras, of which I've strategically jacked into throughout the valley, with official clearance, of course. I can switch between cameras with these buttons. There's also a VCR for each monitor. I keep a record of everything I see, so if I happen across something intriguing, I can keep it on file. Well, I'll leave you to your snooping. Supervising, son. Supervising. I'll leave you to it. Right. Good morning, Mrs. Brown. Please address me as... Hey, what's my guitar doing out here? Your mother and I convinced you to give it up, remember? Rock and roll music is frowned on by the Brown administration. It sets a poor example for all the kids who look up to you as a model of studiousness and moral gravity. And besides, you're not very good. Come on, Dad. I need that guitar. Give me one good reason why I should give it back to you. Because... A certain girl is only going to like me if I can play the guitar. A certain girl? You don't mean... Jennifer. Oh, Martin. Why are you fixated on that little Helly and she's nothing but trouble? Yeah, my kind of trouble. And besides, the way you play guitar, you're only going to drive her further Oh. Go ahead, son. Do your worst. Thanks, Dad. Here you got hit with some more demerits, Nathan. Good on you, I'd say. Sure. Never trust a guy with less than a thousand demerits.